Hello everyone, my name is Usman and I am founder of Tripedes. One of the feedback we received while working with cell phone stores that also sell prepaid in their stores was there should be an easy and efficient way to track bill payments. I'm really excited to showcase, showcase what our product team has been working on and would love to demonstrate how to set up, process and track bill payments. First of all, click on store settings. And then under module configuration, click on bill payments. Now to start processing bill payments, enable this, select your pro provider. Uh, let's say if you're processing through Vidapay, ePay and QPay, you can select all of them if you don't. If your provider is not listed, simply click on QPay and then uh, you can set it up later on as well. So let's say in your store, you, uh, you sell Net10, you also do TrackPhone, um, ADNT, uh, Verizon, H2O. So you, you can select uh, all the plans uh, which you sell. Now, let's say if one of them are not listed, um, you can add them later on as well. Okay, now one of the important things while doing bill payment is if you'd like to charge 911 tax for bill payments. So if you'd like to collect that, you can either collect it in percentage or dollar value as well. So let's say I wanna charge uh, $0.75 on all bill payments. So once I've done all the changes from selecting a provider to selecting a network, um, to selecting bill payment, uh, uh, 911 tax, I'll click on save. Now what this will do is it will down pre-populate some of the products uh, so you don't have to. Let's say uh, if some of the products are missing or you wanna add new products, you can easily go to manage inventory uh, and bill payments to add it, update all the products over there. You can update it through a CSV, you can upload, uh, or you can update an individual item as well. So once the process is completed, it will, you can go and see, um, the provider is added. Uh, you can also update the URL. So let's say the URL for ePay is different. You can add it over here as well, okay? If you want to add a new provider, you can click over here. Now, if you wanna see list of all the networks, you can come over here. And one of the benefit of using this module is let's say for each h2o payment you want to collect uh, a one dollar fee uh, from your customer you can also make it happen over here so let's say uh, for every customer that process a bill payment of 50 dollars, you want to charge 51 dollar uh, you, you can charge uh, a cost uh, of one dollar now let's go to point of sale and where I can show you how to process a bill payment. Um, so first of all, uh, a customer walks in and if you wanna, uh, you can either search a customer by name, email address, phone number, or uh, if it's a new customer, you can quickly enter their name and phone number. So customer name is John Doe and the phone number is you know, 814-312-1234. And um, you, if you'd like, you can ask how did they learn about the, your business? It's very important because so you can see uh, where you're getting your traffic from. So once you enable the bill payment, it will start displaying over here. And then you can select ePay. And if you, if you wanna do a transaction for H2O wireless, you can select H2O wireless. Now all of these are uh, entered over here. 
all of these plans. But let's say if there is a custom amount, you can add a custom amount by clicking on Add Plan. Let's say the customer want to do uh, a bill payment of fifty dollars. It will add over there. It it also adds uh, the uh, you know nine one one tax amount over here as well. And once you want to collect a payment, simply click on checkout. Uh, let's say the customer is paying all through cash. That's it. And you can print out a thermal receipt and hand it to the customer. Or if you want to record a bill payment, you can click over here, which will open bill pay, uh, ePay website over here. So you can uh, log in over here and process the payment. Let's say if you want to also record the payment. So uh, you, if you want to record the order ID or PIN number, which is generated after making the payment on ePay, you can enter it over here. I'm just enter a random number. Uh, and before, uh, if you don't enter the, uh, you know, pin number order ID by default, it will be, it will showcase a message of pending bill payment. Otherwise, once you enter it and click on submit, so the system can, okay, so for now, I, I'll, you know, copy paste the same information. That's it. Um, now we also have a report for bill payments, uh, but uh, you can click on uh, view invoices to see this bill payment over here. And I can go to reports and then bill payments report. to see provider ID. And uh, I hope uh, you, uh, you find this video useful. Let us know um, uh, what you think of the bill payment module. And uh, the last thing I also won't forget to showcase was uh, to manage inventory bill payments. You can view a list of all, all of your uh, bill payments now. Let's say you also want to enter the airtime margin. You can enter it against each product or bulk export uh, and import it back. So let's say your margin is 8%. You, you can en enter it over here as well. Okay. Uh, let me know in the comment section what improve, improvements uh, you would like to see uh, and I'll be more than happy to work with our product team uh, to add this improvement before we go live with this module. Thank you so much.